bravado. That's how long I've got until Boofer makes me a dead man. I'm so doomed. Oh, Ryan, you're exaggerating. Boofer may be a thick-headed, thick-bellied bully, but what's he really gonna do to you? You heard him, Roboto. An atomic skull crusher. That's what he called it. His fist, my head, boom! Relax, will you? He's probably forgotten all about it by now. Boofer even called a magazine. Bully Beatdown Monthly? They want to do a story. Apparently he's the fold-out. I still can't believe they have their own periodicals. But I've got a plan. WWAD. I'm sorry, WW what in the what? <laughs> Duh, what would Arnold do? Crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and they hear a lamentation of the women. Possibly the wisest words ever spoken. Yeah, he wouldn't just wait around for some predator to chomp him. First thing you do is set a trap, cover himself in mud, and then you build a huge fire. Okay, okay. So you cover yourself in grime, and I'll create a distraction. Yeah, yeah. You create a distraction, and then I'll hit him with a log. Uh, uh. Wait a minute. You're going to hit him with a log? Maybe the hammer of Kaza Doom. Huh? No, Ryan. Uh. Hey, Ryan. What about the Forbidden Sword of Hazaroth the Ogre Slayer? It has plus five for damage! Whoa. Look, what you need here is something Boofer won't be expecting. A total game changer. Oh, oh, I got it. The Cabinet of Disappearance! That? Psh, that's never worked. Though it might make me easier to bury once Boofer's done with me. You just leave everything to your old mate, Roboto. All we need is a dash of luck, pinpoint timing, and my astonishing brain. And just a teensy-weensy bolt of lightning. Wait, lightning? Lightning? Ryan, did you say lightning? No, no, wait, don't. Oh, man. Sorry, Abby. Ew. Sorry. What are you doing here? I came to check on you. You know, after everything that went down today with Boofer? No, I mean, what are you actually doing here? Oh, cool. Is that one of those things where you chop people in half? Can I try it? Here, get in. Uh, no, no, it, it doesn't work that way. Uh, it makes things disappear. It's a disappearing cabinet. Anyway, what are you doing here, Abby? This is our secret fortress of ultimate secrecy. It's secret. It says so right in the name. Uh, how did you even find it? Um, Ryan, you built it in the neighborhood vacant lot. Between our two houses, it overlooks my backyard. Oh, right. Uh, Abby, we're right in the middle of something here. We? Roboto and me. Oh, uh, I see. <laughs> Would you say that you and Roboto are pretty close? Sure. Well, as close as you can be with a highly sophisticated polyprocessor, artificial emo intelligence robot with a battle-ready alloy chassis. He also has primo storage capacity and keeps drinks cold. The possibilities are endless. Right. And I did make him, after all. Roboto and I share everything. I can't even tell you how many adventures we've been on. Okay, does Roboto ever, you know, talk to anyone else? Well, I've tried to get him to a couple of times, but he's kind of particular. I guess it depends. Like, who? Well, I mean, would Roboto ever want to talk to me, maybe? Uh, you? Well, I, uh... McGerbil! I'm coming for you! Oh my you. gosh, it's Boofer, and he's early! Okay, you stay here. I'll go try and stall him. Oh, did you see that, Roboto? Abbey Rhodes was here in our secret fortress of ultimate secrecy. Wait a minute. Do you think she could be a spy? Oh, criminy. Focus, hey. Timmy! Focus! Okay. Let's get this party going. Commence Operation Vanishing Act. Looks like we've got a low pressure system building. Time to lasso us a storm. Ryan, raise the strange attractor. That's funny. Nobody said anything about rain today. That's because nature is unpredictable. 
much like me. This is the perfect weather for a beatdown. What do you want, Boofer? It's not three yet. Yeah, no, I thought we'd hurry this up and get it over with. It's taco night at my house tonight. I love tacos. Moose, we've called a big one. Quick, launch the kites. Yeah, my bully sense is tingling. <laughs> Where's the gerbil? He's not here, Boofer, so you may as well just go home. Sorry, I'd like to, but my bully sense never lies. Suit yourself. <laughs> you know it's said that we Batarskis are part shark. I know. I've seen you eat a bologna sandwich. And it's also given us an uncanny ability to smell fear. Nerd fear. Ah, oh, I've picked up his scent. It seems to be coming from the nerd house. You guys stay here. This won't take long. Booper! Okay, we're all set, Ryan. The cabinet of disappearance awaits. I don't know, Roboto. Are you sure this thing is safe? Of course it's safe, mate. Checked it myself. There's almost no danger of hideous debilitating injury or a ghastly, grim, horrible death caused by catastrophic electrocution. Good. Wait, almost? McGerbil! Whoa. See? Told you. I love the smell of nerd fear in the morning. Boofer, it's 2.30 in the afternoon. Same difference. It's morning somewhere. Yeah, what you got here is your typical nerd den. See how they mark their territory with Cheetos and action figures? Don't worry, I hit your favorite dolls. Roboto, shh. Gotcha. Boofer, you leave Ryan alone! Get you, nerd! Prepare to be crushed! Ryan, you there? Ryan? Ryan? Shh! What? You weren't answering. I was trying to hear. I think Boofer's gone. I'm going to check. Hey, where's the door handle? Roboto, give me some light here. Thanks, Roboto. Roboto, where are we? I, I don't know. You are lost.